Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I'm working in my memory planner for the week of September 12th through the 18th. I have a stack of photos here. I have a couple of sticker books. I have this Whimsy Lux sticker book, um, A Year of Planning, and then I have Realistic Florals. I am loving, let me find them, let me find them. These florals, I think those are so pretty. So there's a distinct chance I'm going to use some of these um, as well. So I will link everything down below, all the stickers I end up using. Otherwise, I'm going to put you all on fast forward. Let's go. All right. So right off the bat, let me know if, like me, you find these stickers to be a challenge to work with, meaning the stickers that have a colorful background, whether it be black or in this case, this beautiful purple. I've seen some with pink. I always think they're beautiful. And then I put them on the page and then I'm confused. And that definitely happened in this case. This is an example of a spread that I was unhappy with until the very end. I wanted to use these stickers. I thought they were beautiful. I wanted to change up how I was using them. The two sections were exactly the same. So I was trying to turn it a different direction. I feel like it looks a little bit odd, but I'm gonna build on top of it. That's that's the key. The first thing I'm going to do to start connecting the two sides of this layout is to add washi tape. This is in kind of a goldenrod yellow, and there's a reason behind that. I'm gonna be bringing that color in in some different ways. So I wanted to bring it in throughout the whole spread on the bottom. And then I have some gorgeous washi tape from Simply Gilded that has a beautiful copper foiling on it that is definitely fall themed. It's all about the pumpkins. So we're going to put that on the bottom as well. I have found myself loving my washi tape even more. I have a wall of washi, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see it. I have a wall of washi and so I feel like I can see my washi tape better and I am using it more and loving it. So adding this across the bottom, that's starting to bring it together a little bit, but still there are some awkward endings to those flowers and I'm not sure how it's all going to start flowing together. But let's start looking at pictures because of course the whole point of memory planning is to include some of these pictures, include some journaling. You're trying to get the memories down. In the end, it doesn't really matter what stickers you do or if you do scrapbook paper or washi tape or any of that. It's all about just getting those memories down. So even if you're taking these photos and just putting the photo down and writing next to it, that is perfect. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it. I struggle a little bit with where to put the photos. Most weeks I print out more photos than I actually use just because I print out nearly every photo that I have that week. And then I just decide what I want to keep, what I want to, um, what won't fit on the spread. So that's how I kind of figure it out. But I end up with extra and I can use them for other types of projects as well. All right, so you can see here, I'm trying to balance out the florals by adding the one in, in the upper right-hand corner. So now I have them in three big places. Let's get the photos down. We're going to tilt photos this week. I don't always do that. A lot of times I have my photos straight, but we're going to tilt them this week. You can see I ended or I fixed that one area where it felt like a harsh ending to the florals just because I'm working in a big size planner um, by tilting a photo over the top of it. We're going to connect the two sides with this floral sticker. It looks a little funny right now, but once I cut the pages apart, it makes a little bit more sense. So I promise it all comes together. I'm not going to lie multiple times while doing this spread. I was super unhappy with it and had to just keep going. And that's something that I have learned through all my years of crafting. If you don't like something, you can always change it. That's the whole point of doing a creative endeavor. I originally wanted to use these stickers from Whimsy Lux, but they were all on clear sticker paper, which usually works great in planner spreads. But for this particular one, I needed some that would hold their own a bit more. And so I'm not gonna end up using those at all. I will grab some of the boxes from this Realistic Florals sticker book. And this just gives me more journaling space. It kind of sets apart some different ideas. It is bringing more florals in, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to end up layering quite a few boxes here at the bottom. And that also serves to bring together some of those awkward spaces. So what I think I didn't like about the spread was the trapped white space. I have some areas where... There's just white space that gets trapped 
and it's weird and I'm not going to be able to write there. And I just see how I have all that white space over on the right side, not the stuff that's at the top, but the stuff that is like, I don't know, skinny and going around the pictures. It just wasn't working. And I have some on the left side as well. So what I'll end up doing is filling in a lot more boxes, ephemera, filling in that white space, really bringing my journaling into the middle of the page. And then it starts to kind of come together for me. The ephemera that I'm using is from Felicity Jane. Um, whenever I get a Felicity Jane kit, I use it with the kit. And then as the ephemera starts to dwindle, I divide it up in my craft room. And so I have a set that is florals, a set that is words, and a set that is just kind of random ephemera. And I like to pull from it. I think it is pretty neutral ephemera a lot of the time, so it can mix and match well. And I feel like it's gonna match well with this particular set from Heather. I love her florals and I love how easy it is to kind of make a huge impact on your page with those florals, um, which is what I wanted to do for the spread. The spread did end up taking me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I would, this would be a quick win, but I just, I wasn't loving how it was coming together, just the layout of it. And so it took me a lot longer to kind of work my way through that. All right, you can see I was playing with a little bit more ephemera and then I decided, you know how I'm gonna fill in some of that white space is with the washi tape that I am loving. So I grabbed that same Simply Gilded washi tape. This is gonna work super well. I'm gonna put it over here on the side. It's kind of like putting scrapbook paper in the background almost, except it's washi tape and I can fill it in wherever it is convenient for me. So I'll cut it there. I'll use my craft knife, just making sure it's all the way to the edge. And then um, right here, I'll layer on a little bit of that yellow, moving it around the page. That yellow is coming into play in a lot of the Felicity Jane pieces that I have picked out. Um, so that works out really well. I just need my craft knife here to do a little slice around this photo for the washi tape so I can peel that up nicely. It works super well. I'm just going slowly to make sure that I don't, um, that I don't mix it up and rip up the photo while I'm pulling up the washi tape. I then end up using that washi tape um, several places. Anytime I have that awkward trap space, I put that washi tape in there. I'm gonna use that pumpkin right there. I really start to fill in the white space and that's when I really start to love what this looks like. It's coming together. I will have to put another box in this area. It, it took a little while, but in the end, I actually really like this spread. I think it looks pretty different from some of my other memory planner spreads. I love that I'm getting into the fall colors. I love the layering of a ton of different ephemera that always makes me super happy on these spreads. And then of course, getting to use some gorgeous florals and some beautiful washi tape never hurt anybody. So I like that it's incorporated in some different sections. So I will get all of those down. You can see multiple times I have to pull up these little photo corners. Like they come up more times than not because I keep layering things underneath them. Here's where I decide, you know what? I can put in another box, I can have a little box there. We're going to add a smaller box over by the pumpkin and see how cute it ends up being. Yeah. All those boxes layered. That was the solution that I was looking for to cover up some of those awkward white spaces. So if you have a spread that you're like, this isn't working, look and see if you can find trapped white space. That might be what is throwing your eye off. At least it was for me on this particular spread. Now I'm trying to get this leaf tucked away. Um, that's what it was for me on this spread. So once I had that fixed, then it really started to come together pretty fast. The last little bit that I need to do is add journaling lines. So I end up adding journaling lines uh, across the main sections that are open like I normally do. And then I'm going to pull out a stencil and add journaling lines to the boxes as well, just to give me plenty of room to write. I will do most of my journaling off camera. And then once I'm done with that, I always go over the spread one more time just to make sure that I have all the areas filled in that I want. Otherwise, this memory planning spread is done. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link the supplies that I can down below. Again, a lot of these paper pieces are from Felicity Jane, some old kits, some stash busting pieces, um, which is always something I suggest, especially in your memory planning spreads. 
I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for all of your support. We're having a fabulous time over on Patreon. So if you want to join us, make sure to check the link for that in the description box as well. All right. I hope that you have an absolutely fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.